Welcome to Borderline Board Offline. Today we're bringing you our top three favorite Kickstarters that are currently funding that have solo capability. I gotta find a more streamlined way of saying that. These are our top three solo Kickstarters that are currently funding right now. That's better. Okay, so what we do here is I check out Kickstarters that are funding in the first, that are going to end in the first half of the month. And if they are currently funding or if they're so close, they're obviously going to fund and they qualify for the list. They also have to have a solo mode or be solo capable or be only solo to qualify for this list. We're bringing you three games today. Like I said, all of these actually, let's see. Yes, all of these are currently funding. So no doubt that they are going to fund by their uh, end dates. Before we get to the list, I want to mention our sponsor, Board Game Co. This is a fantastic website where you can buy, sell, and trade games. They have a great selection to choose from. They have a lot of Kickstarters to choose from. Alex over there at Board Game Co. is very, very knowledgeable on Kickstarter. If you want a more fleshed out list of Kickstarter games, go check out Alex's over there. He doesn't just focus on solo. He focuses on all kinds of stuff, has videos come out every week for it. Definitely check his channel out as well. Besides the channel, though, like I said, he has Board Game Co., the store, and they have all kinds of games for you to buy. They also buy games from you. You can sell games to them. Very easy system to use for that, but my favorite thing they do is they trade games. So they have a, basically a system set up where if you have a Board Game Geek account, and on Board Game Geek you have set up a trade list, you then go to Board Game Co., drop your Board Game Geek username in over there, and then they will build a custom trade list based on your trade list and their stock right there on their website. It makes it very easy to facilitate a trade. I strongly recommend it. If you do go over there, be sure to click on the link in the description below so they know I sent you over there. All right, now, of course, all of our lists are done by the minute. So three games equals three minutes starting right now. Number three is Age of Dog Fights. Now this currently has 680 backers, raised $52,000. It has uh, two different pledge levels that'll get you the full base game, $58, but the uh, pieces are unassembled. Now I'm guessing that means the, the stands are unassembled uh, and you'll have to do some assembly there uh, with that. But then you also have the $70 package that will get you the full package with everything already assembled. One to two players, 30 to 120 minutes. This has this cool, it's basically dog fights, uh, um, uh, airplane fights from World War II. I guess last year they had, or two years ago, they had a World War I version. This is the World War II version. It has this triangle path system, which has a really kind of realistic way for the planes to be flying. Realism is really important uh, in this game. Um, all the info is on the chits. It has a slider board that controls the throttle and the weaponry different size stands for altitude so you're actually going up and down on the board not just around the board you have to watch out for your fuel if your fuel runs out then that plane is gonna have to leave um, even firing position is taken into account when you're playing this game that's age of dogfights World War two number two is two minutes to midnight this has 450 backers $28,000 at the time that I was fil I filmed this um, it's gonna cost you 46 pounds or roughly $64 one to two players, two to seven hours. Now, before you freak out, it's different scenarios apparently. There's a two hour scenario, a four hour scenario, and a seven hour scenario from what I can tell on their Kickstarter. I think that's really, really cool. I love the idea of you can either have this be a game night game for you know, just a normal two to three hour game night, or you can set it up for a Twilight Imperium one-on-one -on -one seven hour session. That's really, really cool. Uh, solo bots let you play either side, whether it's uh, America or Russia. This is, by the way, this is uh, uh, the Cold War is what this is all about, two minutes to midnight. It has a tech tree. It's got an interactive tutorial. Lots of cool stuff going on with two minutes to midnight. Uh, Scarface 1920 is number one. This takes place right after Prohibition has started. We've got 450, or I'm oh, sorry, 4,500 backers, $618,000 raised so far. $99 gets you the game. This will fund on July 15th. By the way, Two Minutes to Midnight, July 8th, and Age of Double Fight, uh, didn't write that down. I don't know, go check it out. Um, funds on July 15th for Scarface, one to four players, one to two hour playtime. 
Uh, we've got air control, worker placement, uh, deck building, all kinds of good stuff in here. Uh, like I said, it takes place at the beginning of Prohibition. You're going to be building your criminal empire, fighting against the other players, trying to take over Chicago. Uh, is, you know, that, that's kind of where the, the epicenter of that uh, Prohibition gangland fight kind of took place. And, of course, you're going to have to be watching out for the feds who are going to be coming after you. You, you know, just this really just screams like The Untouchables, that movie, or, you know, any of your kind of stereotypical 1920s gangster films that, you know, are, are classics and that sort of thing. That's really what this feels like. I think they even say on the on the uh, Kickstarter campaign, it's going to feel like you're in a Scorsese film. So I, that, that's a pretty high bar. I don't know if I would set myself up that high, uh, but I mean, if they think they could do it, fine. Uh, it looks really cool. It's got a ton of minis in there. If, if that's something that's going to attract you to this, um, a lot of mini um, vehicles in there as well. Besides, not just your gangsters, but the vehicles too. It looks really, really cool. Very excited about this one. That's Scarface 1920. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to come back around the 15th or 16th when we'll have our mid-July update on the games for the second half of the month. And until next time, for Board Online, Board Off. Online.